Byron. 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 Hi. Byron. Hey. Oh, we got. Actually, now we. Hello. Fantastic. Right. Cool. We'll crack on. So this course is the March Benete course. Um, essentially, this course is to teach you how to use this rifle, um, as it will operate a little bit differently to your standard rifle. And as a marksman in your section, you'll also have to operate a little bit differently as well. Um, the two most obvious things with the rifle is one, it's got a different scope. Uh, and two, it fires a 7.62 round instead of a 5.56 round. So what does that mean? So the scope will have a much greater magnification. And it's also got a different um, reticule on it as well. So you actually want to point down the range and actually look at your reticule for us. So you'll see uh, your red arrow and then you'll see the lines across, which you don't really need to worry about unless something's moving. And if there's wind, but don't worry about wind, we're not going to be covering wind. Um, and you've also got your lines down the central axis of it. So these are your elevations. Now where it says four, that's supposed to be 400. Um, but what you'll find is it's not bang on 400. Okay. So you may have to correct a slight bit. And the other numbers also are the same, so 6, 8, and 10. And the other markers as well will be your, your 5 and uh, your other, other numbers in there. So you've got your 5, your 7, and you've got your 9 in there as well. The big one, so I'm talking about the little markers down, not the big one that you can see just above the 8. Don't worry about that one. Um, right smack bang on your red your red arrow, that should be 300 metres zeroed. But what you'll find is it's not quite 300 metres. You don't have to um, page up, page down. You don't have to zero your weapon system with these because you're not really going to be shooting at a range where it's going to actually matter. Um, so don't worry about it. If you think you need to, then by all means, you're an expert. Um, but I'm telling you, you don't need to. So, uh, as a marksman, you sort of operate differently within your section, um, and the weapon system operates a bit differently as well. So, 7.62 will operate differently to your 5.56. Uh, it's got more penetration. Don't you even start tuggins. Um, and essentially, if you shoot it, it will probably go through the sandbag, the wall, um, the bloat completely. Um, they're quite devastating rounds. If you ever use a GPMG, you know what I'm on about. They will shred things. So um, it will even go through sort of light armoured pieces as well. So quite deadly. Please. So you've got your plugs in? Yep. Okay. You can put mag in. Make sure you're on safe. Don't want ND. Especially not with 762. <laughs> Right, cool. So, um, let's see how smart people are. Someone can someone yell out what they think the effective range of this weapon system is probably going to be. One thousand four hundred. Oh, Canal, you're a bit optimistic, aren't you? Well, I what? feel I should have guided with one thousand four hundred. So. I mean, you can, but it's not the Eight. effective fucking range. Eight hundred. It's, like, it's like the max range. Eight hundred. Yeah. I must say a thousand because that's thousand? the last mark you need. So one thousand one hundred. I'm gonna go with guys here. Eight hundred. Eight hundred. Plug in, so you reckon? I think that it's seven hundred to eight hundred meters. All right, Microsoft Sam, thank you. <laughs> so what you're looking for really is the effective range of the weapon system. So. How at what range can you still be um, precise and quick to fire at targets that are either A, stationary in a fortification, or B, moving at a patrol pace? And it's roughly about 800 metres. Okay. 
So when we're doing this range, if you can't hit these targets at 800 meters, then unfortunately you don't pass. So fingers crossed. Oh dear. The uh, the maximum range of the upper system is about 1400 meters. Um, that is pretty much the absolute maximum that you can actually effectively. Well, I've tested it. You can't you can't accurately fire over that range. Um, it's impossible. So yeah, uh, if you are a marksman in your section, you should have a night vision capability as well, the maxi kite. It sounds like a sanitary towel, but I assure you it is not. Uh, it is a really shite night vision scope, um, which I fucking despise, but it's there if you need it. Uh, with your Chigi cons, you can also switch your red dot sight as well if you go in into your uh, obvious scenarios, so... That's on there. It's got a Harris bipod on it as well, so you can um, have a bit more stability if you're firing at greater ranges. So, if I was to say to you, so the section is on rapid fire on on the on that uh, barn over there, or the fucking shitey fucking hut thing. Um, if the section's on rapid fire, what fire rate do you think you're going to be on? Bear in mind, you've got a seven six two. You've got twenty round magazines. You've not got a, as many magazines as the infantry. Deliberate. Deliberate. Yeah, exactly. So what you want to do with your fire rate is stick to your fire rate. Don't do what I've seen some numpties doing. And if I see you doing it, or especially if Angus sees you doing it, you just get the qual uh, qualification taken off you. Never go full auto. Um, completely unnecessary. You never need to do it. Rapid fire only in the first, very, very, very first few seconds of your RTR, and uh, if you absolutely need to in close quarters. Um, but deliberate fire, it will be your bread and butter with the weapon system. So, sections on rapid, you're on deliberate. Your section's on deliberate, you're on... Watch and shoot. Watch and shoot, watch and shoot. fantastic. Sections on watch and shoot, you're on... Watch and shoot. Watch and shoot, yeah, fantastic. Um, it's that simple, okay? Everybody understand that? Yep. Yep. Fantastic. Um, so with this weapon system, you can pretty much guarantee you can engage targets between 600 and 800 meters very precisely, very quick, and very accurate, okay? Um, it's got a pretty high rate of fire, and it's got a very high rate of suppressive fire. So if you remember back to your GPMG, V762, this is basically a GPMG, but you've got a big scope on it, and you are actively trying to take somebody's head off and not actually trying to take the building down. Um, so treat it as such, okay? When I say suppressive, I literally mean you're on deliberate fire because that is its its intention okay so what i want you to do is make sure you go mag in make sure your safety's off um and make sure that you are ready to fire down the range what's going to happen is i'm going to stand behind you and i'm going to tell you to fire if you shoot at a target and i've not told you to fucking shoot i'm going to fucking hit you on the head with some very very heavy do it twice and i may just kick you off because it's fucking annoying uh, and I don't want you, it, it to be an absolute free-for-all on these targets, because I'm not going to lose where I'm, where I'm marking you down, okay? So, can everybody see the first target? I'm just going to check if Tuggins can see it. So, reference the road, it's the first bunker. See? Uh, northwest off the road, yeah. Eyes on. So, all the targets are a little bunker with a bloke in it. It's a little, little yellow, uh, little yellow bloke. So, first target is, as we've established, 400 metres, so you should be able to absolutely nail this. But what usually we find is you won't hit it the first time because you um, will put the red thingy on it. So, I'm just going to go down the line. Put the red, your red reticule, directly bang on centre mass on the target and shoot from me, Tuggins. Confirmed, but you mean the red cross or the tri uh, triangle? Uh, let me have a look. You're confusing me. Ah, the the uh, the little upside down frowny face. 
<laughs> what? Okay, got it on. Yeah. Standing or kneeling? Whatever stance you want to do, mate. Kneeling, then. Oh, prone then, please. I mean, you're not going to be seated if you're prone. Oh, oh yeah. Sandbags. Oh, you've got me there. Right, eyes on. Yeah, firing ready. Firing. Hit sandbag. the fucking sandbag, that's unfair. You can bipod on the sandbag, you know. Oh, I thought this was also... Oh. Oh. Oh yeah, my god, it. this is a I'm new 4 5 b Um, firing. There we go. Fantastic. Alright, Archer. Put the big red uh, arrow thing, centre mass, and have a, have a shot. Firing. There we go. So that's hitting pretty much... Collarbone. Right. Right, G-Man. Have a shot. Oh. Oh. There we go. Went straight through him. Right, Klein, have a shot. Go. If any of you break any of my targets, by the way, you're fucking paying for it. If you break it, you buy it. <laughs> right, Ben, have a shot. Mm -hmm. Hey. Alright, cool. We have all successfully engaged a target at 400 meters with a highly powered fucking marksman rifle. Hey. Right, we're going to move on to the next one, which is 500 meters away. So, we'll start with you, Ben. So, if you look at the first target and go left, it's the next one. Yeah, I see. 500 meters, you said. Yeah. Have a shot. Alright. I'll have a shot. Ooh, a bit Ooh. high. A bit high? Yep. Alright, can I shoot again? Yeah, you can. There you go, right in the face. Right, climb another shot. Ooh, a bit high that. Actually, quite high that. Put it right on the 600 mark, okay. That's so it's this 100 meters. Yeah, there you go, you hit that one. There you go. <laughs> Alright, case. Yet. Don't make me regret giving you a marksman rifle, by the way. Go on, Archer. <laughs> yeah, bang on. If I save you from an RPG. Go on, Tuggins. Byron. Fantastic. Yeah. Right. right, so where is the next target? I believe it's to the right. It is! Right off barn. So, yeah, so look Eyes at the on. barn. A bit of stone wall, and then that. Eyes on scene. 600 meters, have a shot. Byron. Ah, oh, nailed it. Yeah, you got eyes on target, actually. Scene. Yeah, firing at it. Firing. Oh, I didn't see that. I think that went left. It hit. Another go? It hit just above. You were just a bit high. Sometimes. Oh, there you go. Yeah. I think that actually went for the bit, the wooden beam at the top there. Sometimes, if you're looking at somebody else shooting, the splash is quite difficult to see. Because ammo is a really good game like that. It's really helpful. Alright, G-Man. Have a shot. Oh. I think that was high, mate. Yeah. Sometimes the splash is quite difficult to see, especially if you hit it on wood. There you go, bang on. Actually, have a shot. Ooh, I think it's a bit high, that I think. I can't even see where these are going. Have another, have another shot. There you oh, go. There you go. Do you know where you shot? Do you want to have another shot at that? The fire where you just fired. Same spot, why are they back? <laughs> Absolutely bizarre. Armour.jpg. Yeah, welcome. <laughs> it's literally the same spot. What's going on? I bet you've raised 800 my ass with these folks. <laughs> hey! Oh, yeah. It's 400. I'm on the shot. It's 400. Not for the CQB only. Hey. The red dot. Uh, right, so we can have a shot. Like only Byron. Hi. Mm. Byron. Hey, there we go. 
So basically, you've got to aim at the bus at the sandbags. <laughs> it's <laughs> <laughs> great. Uh, I've got to find the next one now. Uh, oh, it's not that one. Jesus, that's a bit far. Not that one. Is it the one to the uh, right of, uh, just beneath the power line? Uh, what do you call them? The big triangular power thing that looks like it comes from the Soviet Union. No. Right, so you see the target you just fired at. Eyes on. So traverse left. Keep going left. Eyes on. And you'll see it about... 800. Uh... 327 degrees, and it's 800 meters. So three, fire when you're ready. Confirm. 327? Three, yep. Yeah. So not the first bunker that you come across, but the second bunker that you Confirm come across. Confirm that one. That one, yeah. Right. Eyes on. Engaging. Shooting at sandbags. Firing. Firing. Hey! Okay. <laughs> On the go. That's an interesting one. Uh, engaging. Hey, fantastic. So, for that, Tuggins, uh, you've hit the 800 meter target, so that's basically the pass of the course. You can stick around if you want. Um, all we're going to be doing is we're going to be trying to.